Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Frosty Gaming, and I'm here to give you another Unity tutorial. Today we're going to create a player controller for this cube player that we have right now. What that means, basically, is that we are going to create a script that we'll be able to move around and do things with our cube, as we would a player in a game. Now the first thing that we've got to do is create a folder for our scripts. I do this, it's just an organizational thing. I would recommend doing this in your projects. Just creating folders for things like materials, scripts, models, all that stuff. So then we want to go to create C sharp script and we're gonna name this player controller. And if we double click this, it'll load up in Visual Studio and then we can get started. First off I want to start by saying that normally when you're doing a player controller for movement, you'll want to use physics and move the rigid body using velocity or force because that registers collisions a little bit better but that's not what I'm gonna do today so first we want to decide what we're gonna do what we want our player to do well we want it to be move be able to move around forward backward left right but we also want it to be able to turn and why don't we also add the ability to jump so the first thing we want to do is create variables to change the speed so So this variable move speed is going to be used to tweak the speed that we're moving at. And we can copy and paste this and then just change move to rotate and this move to jump. I'll explain why I'm doing public later. Float just means that it's a decimal, the ability for the number to go decimal so it's not an integer which is just like a one, two, three, or four. This can be like 1.1 or 1.2, stuff, stuff like that. So I'm setting it to 10.0 actually is what this means. And this F is just to designate it as a float. We're not going to be using start for this script, but I'll leave it in here anyway because it's nice to have in case you do use it. We are going to be doing all of our stuff in the update function. So first we got to decide what we want our controls to be. I'm going to go with the generic WASD for the movement and then Q and E for the rotation and then for jumping I'll just do spacebar. On a side note if you're using physics and velocity and force you're gonna wanna use the fixed update function not the update function. So the way we do the control scheme is by putting an if function let's say W equals true now, pretty much all this is saying is if the player is holding down W, then this will happen. And this will update every frame, so it will happen every frame of the game. Now we want the player to move forward when we press W, so we will do transform.localPosition plus equals, and plus equals in code just means transform.localPosition equals transform.localPosition plus whatever I'm going to put here. Next we're going to do transform.forward times time dot delta time times move speed now transform dot forward it's the position that's right in front of where you are right now where the object is right now so it's gonna add that onto its own position so it moves forward we're multiplying it by time dot delta time because this is the time from one frame to another and we're multiplying it by move speed to change the speed in which we move forward now if we control shift B to build this or just go to build, build solution. And we go back to our Unity scene, and we can just go ahead and click and drag this onto the player. Now when we press play, he falls, just like normal. But then if we press W, he'll move forward and fall off because I have gravity on him. So actually, let's make this a little bit bigger so that we have more room to run around. Then we can go back to Visual Studio and we can copy and paste. Actually, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. And then A, S, D. But we don't want these doing the same thing as W. We want A to go left. 
So what we can actually do is change this to right and change it to a negative transform. So it's going the opposite of the right direction because there's, there is no left. The S is going to go backward. So forwards here, we can S do negative transform forward. And then the D is going to go right. So we can just put right. Now, control shift B to build again. And the script is already on the player. So we can hit play. And now we can move all around with WASD. Okay.